Hi, my name is Dr. Ian Ralby, and I am delighted to be working with Three Stones International and its ongoing collaboration with the NATO Hub to conduct a webinar series investigating key issues facing populations in Africa. On February 17th, I am delighted to be moderating the next installment, engaging with a panel of experts who, like me, work in different facets of maritime security. Now, knowing the speakers, I can promise you a dynamic discussion on how to use training, education, and exercises to more effectively enhance security in the Gulf of Guinea. As many of you know, the Gulf of Guinea is an important geopolitical choke point for shipping. Now, it's probably best known for oil, but it is also home to the cocoa belt, accounting for a significant portion of global chocolate supply, as well as a tremendous contribution to cotton, nuts, and other agricultural products. Furthermore, the West African fishery is one of the most abundant in the world and contains key breeding grounds for Atlantic tuna and other species. In recent years, piracy, armed robbery at sea, illegal fishing, smuggling, trafficking, illegal bunkering, and maritime dumping have all posed significant threats to security in the area and ultimately to the economic development of the entire region. The situation is untenable. Coordinating approaches between stakeholders is paramount to advancing successful mitigation of these maritime security threats and vital to pursuing security, governance, and development at the national, regional, and global levels. During the discussion on the 17th, panelists will prof profile complexities of the maritime environment in the Gulf of Guinea and will identify education and training best practices that may improve regional coordination. After reviewing the existing regular exercises like Obangame Express and Grand African Nemo, there will also be a discussion of what other exercising needs are not being met. Finally, the conversation will explore where NATO could fit into the already crowded space of international partners interested in enhancing maritime security in the region. In other words, what could NATO do? We look forward to an engaging dialogue, bringing together diverse experiences and backgrounds to gain a deeper understanding of the maritime security challenges facing Africa, and we look forward to posing potential solutions. Please consider participating and use the shared survey link and the audience registration link to share your thoughts and views and to make sure you're signed up to join us on the 17th. As a moderator for this dialogue, I look forward to engaging with you and with our panel of experts on this complex topic. See you on Tuesday the 17th of February.